In 1993, Jensen Huang left his position as director of LSI Logic Coreware and, along with Sun Microsystems electrical engineer Chris Malakowski and senior engineer Curtis Prem, founded NVIDIA. In its first year, the company focused only on chip design but had no manufacturing capabilities. A year later, they were able to find a partner, enabling them to launch their own production. On May 1, 1969, Jerry Sanders, together with a group of seven like-minded individuals, founded AMD. The company's first microprocessor was the EM9080, a clone of Intel 8080, created through reverse engineering and released in 1975. Today, both companies specialize in many areas, from processors to proprietary software. Both also produce graphics cards, so now we'll compare graphics cards from these two companies and determine which one is better. Although NVIDIA is much more popular in the graphics card market, holding 88% of the market share and leaving only 8% for AMD, the choice between them is not so straightforward. Let's start with one of the most critical parameters of a graphics card, performance. Of course, performance depends on the specific graphics card model, so we'll compare flagship models. For example, if we compare AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XT and NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090, the NVIDIA graphics card is more powerful. Next, let's consider the price-to-performance ratio. Here, AMD takes the lead as their graphics cards are generally considered cheaper. For instance, if we compare two graphics cards with nearly identical specifications, AMD's Radeon RX 5700 XT and NVIDIA's GeForce RT X2070 Super, the latter is about one-third more expensive while having almost identical characteristics. Now, let's discuss power consumption and heat output. AMD graphics cards are known to generate more heat and consume more power, making NVIDIA the clear leader in this category. For example, the Radeon RX 7900 XTX consumes 355 watts, while the GeForce RTX 4080 consumes 320 watts. Both companies use numerous technologies in their graphics cards. Let's start with ray tracing, a technology that provides realistic lighting in computer graphics. This technique has existed since the 1980s, but video cards only began supporting it relatively recently. NVIDIA introduced this technology earlier than AMD, but both companies actively use it today. Next is NVIDIA's DLSS technology. This technology provides smart anti-aliasing based on AI. It allows for increased frame rates without compromising image quality. Additionally, this technology scales images. For example, if the resolution of a gamer's screen is 1440p, enabling the DLSS mode allows you to play a game at 1080p, and the neural network fills in the pixels to match your screen resolution. Next is AMD's FSR technology. This technology, called FSR, also increases frame rates. However, it has a significant downside, a reduction in image quality at any screen resolution. For this reason, FSR is rarely used by game developers and is far less popular than DLSS. Now, let's talk about NVIDIA's Reflex technology. It's no secret that actions and commands are not processed by the PC instantly, but with some delay, known as lag, or input latency. The lower this latency, the easier it is for players to spot enemies, aim, and shoot accurately. NVIDIA developed Reflex to reduce input lag by several milliseconds without compromising image quality. In reality, there are many such technologies from both AMD and NVIDIA. When choosing a graphics card, consider these technologies and select a card with features that will benefit you. Now, let's talk about what to consider when choosing a graphics card. First, consider your needs. Choose a graphics card based on how you'll use your computer. Also, remember that for your PC to perform better, the graphics card and processor must be well-matched. Another crucial parameter is the memory of the graphics card. Don't overlook factors like the card's cooling system, power requirements, and size. In conclusion, when it comes to deciding which company makes better graphics cards, 
AMD, or NVIDIA, there's no definitive answer. While NVIDIA may be considered the leader in most categories, AMD's pricing strategy is also significant. A high-end graphics card from NVIDIA will be expensive, and to get the most out of it, you'll also need to invest in a powerful processor, motherboard, and a high refresh rate monitor. On the other hand, if you're on a tighter budget, AMD offers sufficiently powerful graphics cards at reasonable prices.